Hey, Scott from Ron Francis Wiring. So we have our 71 F250 pickup truck here. We have all the wires out. We've planned for where the wire paths are going. We've got grommets where they need to to prevent any chafing on the wires and keep them safe. We have our fuse panel mounted and we're ready to start wiring. So in this episode, we're going to do the first three groups of wires that we recommend. A being the alternator, B being the distributor and coil, and C being the ignition switch. So that's uh, kind of how our instructions prescribe going through the different circuits and getting them laid out and uh, completed. So first we're going to start with the alternator and we're going to get those wired up. So if you're following along and you're trying to understand how our kits work, uh, we've pulled all the wiring out of the truck and we've installed the panel and now we're ready to start wiring. If you follow the regular progression of our instructions, we tell you to start with the alternator. So I got the alternator wiring, it's our bag A, and we're going to wire up the alternator and here we go. So this is a, one, a Ford one wire alternator. And being such, all we need to do is run a main charge lead from the alternator to the starter solenoid where the battery cable attaches to. Okay, so next is going to be the B bag, and that handles uh, the distributor and uh, coil wiring on the engine. So uh, once again, we do cater to Fords quite a bit. Uh, this particular bag comes with everything to wire uh, the typical points distributor as well as uh, Ford electronic ignition. And we, uh, we do give you the resistor uh, for the coil circuit as well. So let's get that one started. So when you're planning to start running your wires, it's really important to check to see where the wire is going to be passing through. And if they're going through any panels or uh, firewalls, you really need to use some kind of grommet or protection so that the wires don't chafe. Just so happens that we offer uh, grommets that fit uh, about an inch and a quarter hole, and they have a bit of a lip to them, so they do open and, and close a little bit. They're flexible and it's a perfect size for this truck. There's holes on both sides of the firewall where the wires came out to the uh, engine compartment and then went on to the headlights and running lights. So we're gonna go ahead and install these uh, in our holes and there's also a couple up here on the radiator support to pass them through before they get to the lights. So next we're moving on to the C bag. I already have it out of the bag, but I wanted to demonstrate how it's uh, plugged into uh, the factory ignition switch. So we do offer a lot of different Ford connectors with our kits for, let's say, the alternator, uh, the ignition switch, and um, some of the dash components. So this ignition switch happens to be one that we do support. So we do provide the proper connector to plug plug right into the back of the, uh, the Ford ignition switch and uh, we're going to install this one next. So we have our ignition switch installed, we have the wires and the connector plugged into the back of it and now it's as simple as following the printing on the wire. So the orange is going to 1, the blue, light blue is going to 4 and the brown is going to 2. So we're going to um, route them how we like them, get them down to the panel and make our terminations there. All right, so this is the wire from the ignition switch that we uh, just had uh, under the dash and we've run it out uh, into the end compartment. It's going to attach right here to the starter solenoid where the, uh, the alternator um, charge wire uh, terminates to as well as where the battery, positive battery cable will come and terminate to as well. Okay. 